Hello everyone and welcome to Wrestling Show and here on the W3L Network. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having hit the subscribe button because if you have, then you'll know that we gave you for absolutely free the first part of this year's resolution just a few days ago right here on the W3L Network. What a fantastic unexpected treat for you guys, right? You saw the first half of Resolution 13 and what a first half it was. It's been getting some cracking reviews, everyone has enjoyed it, quite rightly too. The second half will be on its way at some point in the not too distant future, so make sure you have hit the subscribe button if you've not already, and you'll be notified when it is available. As if that's not all, we've announced seven, yeah, seven forthcoming live events between now and the start of 2020. We are going to be hitting Edinburgh, Glenrothes, Elgin, Dalkeith, Broxburn, Gala Shields, and Kinghorn. More news on those in just a bit. Thank you to all of the people sponsoring those events, particularly Crafty Connoisseur, who sponsor every W3L event this year. I shall name check the rest of our sponsors uh, as I tell you about the dates who we visit all those venues I've just mentioned. But Resolution 13, it of course has gone up on the W3L network, part one. A new I'm assuming I've seen it by now, right? Because if you haven't, you probably should. Like, pause this, go and watch the first half of Resolution 13, then come back. You'll thank me in a second. Good, right. So, you will have seen Leo King become the breakout champion. And Leo King seems to think that comes with a championship belt. It doesn't. It's just a, a title, an accolade, an award. Just a way of separating the the various wrestlers from each other to see who's maybe going to be the next person to break out of the pack of all the amazing talent coming through the Wheel Action Academy. But he's adamant that it should be a title and it should be an active title. So he's going to be in action this week here on Showdown and he's insisted on defending the Breakout Championship despite the fact it's not an actual active title. It's all a little on the confusing side but he wants to defend it and management have said if you want to just like go for it and do what you want. Irrespective of that, Leo King is going to be in action right now, taking on a newcomer to wrestling show. Then he made his debut back at Resolution 13. I'm talking about Welsh favourite Roderick Jones. What will happen when these two men collide in a somewhat metaphorical titles on the line? Let's find out by going down to ringside for this week's match. This is Joe Fordyce here with you on Wrestling Showdown and we've got a defence of a semi-existent championship 
I don't know if that's what you would uh, necessarily refer to it as. Now, I'm going to assume you've watched the first half of Resolution 13 that we put up for free on the WFL Network just a few days ago. And you've just seen that man that's rolled to the ring and sat in the crowd, Leo King, uh, overcome three other opponents, one of whom is that man in the single at Roderick Jones, to become the first breakout champion. Now, the breakout championship was designed to give the kind of newer, uh, less experienced members of the WFL roster something to aim for, give them a chance to break out the pack, see who would perhaps be the next big thing, if you like. And uh, King won that, but he now seems to think it's a proper championship. He complained on the night and has complained bitterly every day since that he hasn't got a strap around his waist of a championship belt. And he shouldn't because it's not that kind of championship. As uh, Roderick Jones got him right in his sights. See the, the cross here on the singlet. Once he's targeted you, that is you, your card marked. Talk about a sharpshooter. He's got his eyes from the set on Leo King in his tail. So, this is more of an accolade. If you think WWE's king of the ring, you don't actually get a championship belt nor do you need to defend it. But King seems to think he should have a belt and seems to think that he should be uh, defending it. And so, uh, as a consequence, he's insisted that he gets put on the line in this match and he's going to make the referee uh, hold up the invisible title belt. So they, they break there. Certainly Leo King may have strange ideas about a, a championship that doesn't technically exist. But you can't deny his ability to overcoming three opponents at Resolution is uh, an, an impressive feat. And he looked good in doing so. And he certainly has a wealth of uh, potential. And we've seen him on wrestling showdown a few times in the past. Roderick Jones, however, making his uh, wrestling debut at uh, Resolution 13. As Leo King just overpowers him. Oh, standing switch! Now, both these men have trained together at the WFL Action Academy. So they've got some sort of history in each other. Look at this, neither man breaking. And finally, Roderick Jones spins away. Neither man was getting the advantage there. Because Leo King's title that he doesn't technically have. But he's the one that insisted gets put in line. He'll be about to lose it if uh, Roderick Jones keeps this up. Again, King, you've maybe familiar with, we've seen him a couple of times here on Showdown. He spends a lot of time at the WFL Action Academy. Also travels around trying to train with different people. So we take it under the wing of a Scottish wrestling legend, Len Ironside. The man who WWE's William Regal holds in very high esteem. Should give you the, the measure of the man right there. And he has been mentoring Leo King. and They've travelled over the UK trying to learn with some of the best British legends that they can uh, learn from. Let's go over to Italy, a couple of trips to the United States to learn as well. I put on a, a worldwide streamed tryout event, which is very impressive for him. He's turns off the ropes, just runs right through Leo King. It's be big for Roderick Jones, second proper match, becomes a, a champion even if it's not a proper championship. But you know, King, the hair's breath, but King bailing, going to the floor. He is the experienced edge in this match, and something often happens down to there. was complaining about something that Roderick Jones did, but you know, it's fair to me. Uh, Jones is from Bridgend and Wales, who does obviously reside up in Scotland. And the commute between Bridgend and the Double Fraction had to be an absolute killer otherwise. And so he has uh, been one of the hardest working trainees in finally getting his reward by... Uh, oh, hang on. Got suckered in. Leo King just snapped his neck in total. That's the tactic Leo King has learned in all his international trips and studying under the learning tree of many of Britain's very best. You see stomps in the, the ribs there. Uh, Roderick Jones suffered a bit of a rib injury at, at Resolution 13 in that four-way match, so I think King obviously knows it. He's trying to, oh, he's breaking his fingers! It's going to make uh, things very difficult for uh, Roderick Jones. Likes to finish points off for the Sam Tan, so use that at Restation 13, so I would assume that he's going to try and use that on Leo King tonight if he gets the opportunity. And just slowing the pace down, measuring him as a opponent when he wants him. Knee right in between the shoulder blades. And King swaggers about. 
it, it, she's got so much self-confidence she applies variation the chicken wing the confetti goes into the dragon sleeper it's so much self-confidence but it verges on the arrogant at times a lot of people being put off by his attitude and he's totally slowed Roderick Jones down of course by virtue of becoming the breakout champion this means Leo King is the one that's tipped for big success in WCL in the future I'm sure he will manage it if you've been at Fight for Life last year in December he uh, basically got, gave himself a shot at the wrestling showdown championship demand to be put in the match and he did much of the exit by Roderick Jones but doesn't quite, uh, quite get it I think you're being well certainly got a run for leg sweep as it's possible he's measuring his opponent and King catches him Jones is not necessarily a light man but King caught him as uh, he covers after that side backbreaker again he the ribs and he knows that Jones has got a rib injury Neil King only 19 years old and another knee catches Jones right in the chin it looked like and it only lets him count two and two fairly inexperienced wrestlers by capacity of many of the WTL roster and it was going for the other he even going to break those fingers as well is he he's certainly bed in the back he's walking over Jones's arms so it's not a bad move because it's going to be hard to beat somebody if you can't actually pick him up or throw a strike or something if Jones will be knocked to the floor perhaps King will be content to look at a count out victory trying to fast count but it's not going to be Roderick Jones looks a very proud of his Welsh heritage you see as that crosshairs when he gets you in his sights as I said before it's all over for you King trying for a butterfly suplex and Jones stomps him oh there's some raw power took a bit out of Jones as well but Leo King took a bad landing of that one and Jones never quits, never goes down without a fight. If you beat him, you really need to have earned that victory. Much that like we saw at Resolution, but again, anyone that's trained with him knows just how tenacious he is. He's always training, always there, always first in, last to leave, and then he gives everything he's got. He'll be a huge star one day, I'm sure. Ducks underneath Leo King, drops him a back super, but you notice it doesn't give him a lot of height. Got him straight to the camera as quick as he could, and it nets him just about a two count. He enjoys a bit of hunting. Hunts the, the target on his uh, singlet. He's brought that to his, uh, his matches. Comes charging in, right in the midsection. It's going to knock the air out of Leo King. There's a reverse neck breaker. Jones will be about to win a non existent title. No, no, King kicking out. It's just, uh, if nothing else, a matter of pride. Leo King became the breakout star of W3L at Resolution. And as a consequence, he wants to remain there. He's the one that chose to put his accolade up for grabs, when you can't recall it here. And he wants to defend it, and I guess he doesn't want to lose it. He wants to prove that he's the next big thing. Oh, here we go. Set up the Sam Tan. Leo King knows what that's like, ducks out of it and grabs hold of Jones and drops him across the ribs again and for the cover a free right in position but Roderick Jones kicks out he tasted that in resolution but got out of it there and that is uh, Leo King he's a bit frustrated, he's put people away with that move but again, targeted the midsection, targeting the ribs and he's gone for a chair no, I said he verges on the arrogant, but he sure doesn't verge on the ridiculous, does he? he? He knows he'll get disqualified. And I don't know if I don't know championship can change hands by DQ, can he? I don't know if you argue with him, he's taking it away from him. Oh, and he kicks him low! Roderick Jones gets kicked low, rolled up, referee makes a count of three, and Leo King retains the breakout championship. So it was all they could do to put down a very game opponent 
in the end, distracted if he was a chair, and then had to split Roderick Jones' uprights. To get him rolled up and scored that pinfall victory. I assume Jones will be out for some revenge at some point. But Leo King, the breakout champion, he may not have a. Oh, <laughs> wait, he's found himself a belt of some kind. And she'll be hearing a lot more from both of these men in the future. Leo King gets the victory and I suppose manages to defend his somewhat non existent, semi existent, maybe existent championship. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm sure we'll hear from Leo King in the future. He seems adamant that he should have an active title with a belt and everything, but we'll see that for the time being. Uh, so we have announced seven live events between now and the end of the year. The first set come up in October and they are as follows. Friday, October the 18th, we're going to be back at the Southside Community Centre in Edinburgh. The following day, the Saturday, we're going to be returning to the Rothes Halls in Glenrothes. And then on the Sunday, we make one of our favourite trips of the year as we head up to Elgin. That will be followed by, uh, later in the year, in November the 15th, we are going to be heading to Dalkeith for our second annual Fight for Life event. And then right at the end of the year, it's our post-Christmas spectaculars. On December 27th, Wrestling Day, remember, we are going to be heading to Broxburn. And I am assured we are heading to Broxburn. The following day, We'll see us heading to Gala Shields, and then on the Sunday we are going to be in Kinghorn. More on those events uh, in December nearer the time, but of course Edinburgh and Glenrothes and Elgin are the ones nearest on the horizon. Uh, all of them sponsored by our good friends at Crafty Connoisseur. Thanks to all the other people that are sponsoring those events. Their logos are up in the posters. And more details on them in the weeks to come. Thank you to all of our sponsors. And if you or someone you know would like to sponsor a WTL event or two, get in touch. We'll tell you how to do it. Now, if you want tickets for those events, you want to come to see us in Glenrothes, Edinburgh, or whoever it may be, head up to our website, wtlwrestling.com. Get your tickets here and sign up to the mailing list. Give us a like on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, join us on Instagram, and subscribe, of course, to this channel. Not just because we give you an edition of Shodan every Sunday at 12pm, but the second part of Resolution 13 will be released sometime soon. When? I'm not going to tell you. You'll find out if you subscribe because you'll be notified when it gets released. And trust me, you don't want to miss part 2 of Resolution 13. And if you've seen part 1, watch it again. Share it around. Tell your friends to watch it. It's that good. I use the hashtag that we tell Wrestling Showdown. Tell us which of our seven live events you're going to be coming to. Tell us who you want to see at these live events. Where should we go next? Get in touch, engage with us and let us know what you think. And then come back here in seven days time. I'll bring you more exciting wrestling action just like I always do every week right here on Wrestling Showdown.